Here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. champion of the world, defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, the king! And now it is the champion. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Shut down. This is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a ton behind it. Hit him with the jab. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That one hurt. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with him. Oh, is that a big move? The body, we'll see if he can follow up. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. That knee might have landed there. 
he's got him down. He's in half guard. Just over three minutes to go round one. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And he turned it around into full guard. And he reverses position. Oh, look at that transition. Tags him with the left. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Back to full guard again. Excellent posture here. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Control, postures up. Big punch from the bottom. Good defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Lands a good shot from the bottom. And back to full guard. Uh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Inside leg kick. Big oh, shot with the left. left punch there. Oh, beautiful hook. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, nice shot there. Nothing telegraphed about it. So he wins another takedown. They're starting to really pile up here. And his opponent can't see the entry. So heady stuff here with the takedowns. We'll see if he can execute here now on the ground. Listen. He's still hurt. When you come out, this is the game plan. Go after him right up. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. Here it is again from another angle. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him. here and they separate well most of the time when he has shot tonight he has been successful look for him to try to set up another takedown here effective with the jab nice inside leg kick very nice now to go round two. Good exchanges from both fighters. Full north south here. 
He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Good shot to the head. Nice elbow. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He postures into place. Lands the right hand. He's got a half guard here. He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Excellent movement here on the ground. Back to side control. And he's trying to pass. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. They clinch up. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Tying up in the clinch here. Ten minutes in and the box. Wow, full domination this round. Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Big round. That's the way to end the round. Got him hurt. Listen, when you come out, I want you to start. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent. Oh! The champion is hurt here. He is in big trouble. He's trying to cover up. We might be seeing oh! a new champ right now. Oh! This could be it right here. Hurt him with that right. Closing the distance here. That knee might have landed there. Here's that knee again. Nice body shot. Looks like he's got the over-under here, Joe. Lands a trip and gets him on the ground. Big punch from the bottom. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Good elbow to the body there. Three minutes to go. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Wow. Back up to the feet. Another shot. Oh, he takes him down again, picking up exactly where he left off in the previous round. Easier said than done, but the takedown has been there every step of the way tonight. And he goes to the knee to the body. He's got the plum here. Big shot from the bottom. Tying up here in the clinch. Over underhooks here. He pummels. Now he's got double underhooks. Once again, the takedown is there. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Into side control. Now he's gonna go for a Kimura. He adjusted the arm bar. Break the grip. That was a deep arm bar, but a beautiful escape. Side control. There we go, no south position. Hits the reversal and north-south. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he's going to try to take the back. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Into half guard here. All right, there's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round.
Here we see a beautiful takedown. And here's another takedown. And here's another very nice takedown. Ariane Celeste doing work as usual. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is underway, and now is where you really see what a fighter is made of, Joe Rogan. These chances... Oh! oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he's moved back into full guard. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good exchange there. How about that shin? Oh, oh. he's done. shot to end the fight here. Outstanding knockout. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. Crank right on the jaw. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the UFC's undisputed lightweight champion. That's the way he came in, and that is the way he goes out. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 155-pound fighter on the planet. Gets the win by knockout here tonight, and, and maybe it was just how emphatic a finish it was that is resulting in such a big celebration in that corner. Congrats to the team and the still UFC lightweight.